Get the full spa treatment at AA Salon. Our goal is to make you look your best. We're open Monday through Saturday, and walk-ins are always welcome at AA Salon, located at 921 South Highway 160. Call 775-764-1898. The way we use our carbohydrates to make our energy, the way we use proteins and everything and amino acids from our, from our diet and other exposures, there's really a very strong relationship with, with cancer incidence, and that's really something that's not been described before um, in colorectal cancer at all. Dr. Sunil Cometh led the research team. They studied samples of metabolites, which are substances created when the body breaks down food. Results show people younger than 50 with colorectal cancer had lower levels of citrate compared to older people with colorectal cancer. Citrate is created when the body converts food into energy. They also found important differences in protein and carbohydrate breakdown, which could suggest that red meat and sugar intake may be related to developing colorectal cancer at a younger age. Dr. Cometh says more research is needed, but there's enough evidence to suggest it's a good idea to reduce red meat and sugar in your diet. Certainly um, limiting red meat consumption for sure. We've known that as a risk factor for colorectal cancer for a long time. And so I would certainly say our data supports that. Um, additionally, you know, we, we know that obesity for sure is a big risk factor for developing any cancer, including colorectal cancer. So we think that the findings we showed with carbohydrate and energy metabolism probably relate to that to some degree as well.